Hey there, today I want to show you how I set up my animations for my lecture live streams. Now, what do I mean by my animations? Well, when I am live streaming, here we go, I'm in OBS and I'm using this system to help engage my students and so forth, and it gives me a lot of options. And as you see down here at the bottom, I have some little light bulbs that I can turn on and off. The idea is that each time a student says something engaging or asks a great question or just contributes to the lecture, I go ahead and click on a little light bulb. But you notice here at certain points, we hit extra credit points and bam, we have this. Well, whenever a student or whenever the class hits one of these markers, I play this little animation. It's kind of a quick little dorky reward to acknowledge that the students have accomplished something and yeah, this is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do Please. Okay. What I'm going to do today is create a new animation around Robbie the Robot in the movie Forbidden Planet. Okay, I'm really into the old sci-fi horror movies. So let's go ahead and create an animation and add it to my repertoire. Okay, so here I am in Photoshop and I've got myself a picture of Robbie the Robot along with some of the filmmakers. So the first thing I need to do is, well, remove everything but Robbie the Robot, put him against a transparent background. Now, I admit I'm not too terribly good at this. There are easier, faster ways to do this, but you know what? It works for me and it doesn't need to be all that super accurate because he's only on screen for six seconds. It's not a big deal. So I go ahead and work what magic I can to isolate Robbie. And so there we go. We have Robbie the robot against a transparent background. I can use this in my animation over in After Effects. Okay, so I'm over here in Adobe After Effects and I'm gonna go ahead and open up a new composition. It's 1920 by, oh, 1080, 33 frames per second. That doesn't really matter for this exercise. I do know that I want it to be about six seconds, so I'm good to go there. And I can start pulling over my assets. I really only have two. I have uh, the Robbie that I created and then a sound effect that I downloaded earlier to add to this. So let's go ahead and start building this. First, I'm going to bring Robbie on over. There he is. That's going to be a great size. I can go ahead and resize him a little bit and that'll be good. We'll go ahead and, oh, have him be about like that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then I need to kind of figure out, well, now, how do I want him to enter the frame? Uh, I have an awful lot of animations that come over from the right side, so I think I'd like to have him come over from the left. Truth of the matter is, he's not going to be walking, and so it's going to look odd if he just kind of slides over. So I need to think that out. Okay, so I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of have him step up one step at a time to make it look like he's walking up the stairs or something like that. So let's go ahead and give that a try. I'll go ahead and set his position here, since this is where I'm going to have him stop more or less as a good stopping point. And let's just kind of start working backwards from there. So yeah, he kind of works his way up. It's a little fast, but remember, I've only got six seconds to deal with. So I think I'll mess with it just a smidge to make it a little smoother and maybe some ease in and ease out. I'll show you what I mean here. Let's go ahead and spread out the walking a bit. Okay, I think I can live with that. You know, it's just a little quick animation to give my students something to look at. I'm going to go ahead and do ease in and ease out. That way, ease, ease. That way, it's a little smoother. 
You really don't notice that much given how quickly this is going on, but that's okay. I can live with it. All right, so I've got that. Now I want to bring in my music. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down this. Now it's a video, as you can see here. Well, it just it's not a video. It's just the capture. But I can turn off the view, and I can just make sure that the audio is all that's playing. So I can go ahead and bring that on in. And I want to find a place that is kind of cool sounding for what we're trying to do here. Okay, I've got something I like there, but now I want the audio to start a little slower. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the audio level there and then come on over here and bring it all the way down. There we are. And we'll do the same thing here on the other side. Now, of course, I have him coming in, but I also need him to exit. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these, come over here and paste them, and then come over and do reverse, time reverse keyframes. So now he comes in and out with the music, which I know you can't hear, but that's all right. You'll hear it here in a moment. All right, so now I need to export this so I can use it in OBS. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to my queue. Okay, best settings, that's fine. High quality. This is what we want to do. We want to change the format to Apple ProRes 4444XQ, okay? And then we want this to be RGB plus alpha. That way, Robbie comes in, and alpha means that everything behind Robbie is invisible. Go ahead and hit OK, and then I'm going to tell it where to go, and I'm going to hit Render. And there we go. I can go ahead and leave this. Okay, so what we need to do now is bring Robbie on over to OBS. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. I have this stack in which I include all of my animations. So what I'm going to simply do is add Robbie to this stack. I'll add a media source. Come over here, name it Robbie the Robot. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and find Robbie. Have him there. Hit OK. And now he comes up. Now, one thing I need to do is I need to fix the sound. So I go ahead and bring up the sound there and change this to monitor and output. That way I can hear it as well as the audience. So if we play Robbie again, not bad. Okay. Now, I also need a way to pull Robbie up so that I can trigger the reward for the students. So to do that, I am going to set up a hotkey. Hotkeys allow me to set up a keystroke that will allow me to pull Robbie up. All right. Okay, so now he's all set up. So all I need to do to bring Robbie up is hit my hotkey. There he is. <laughs> kind of cool, right? Now, just so you know, I have a uh, stream deck, one of these little cool stream decks, and I can program the buttons to bring up the animations. So, for example, that brought up Robbie, but I can also bring up Mystery Science Theater 3000. Just kind of fun things that I can bring to the party. All right? So, there you go. That's how you can make a very simple animation to kind of increase engagement in your live stream. I know I'm not doing the hip, amazing, cool animations that you see on Twitch and so forth, but I'll tell you what, I'm okay with that. And as far as I'm concerned, it beats the hell out of a Zoom meeting. All right? Okay, so there you go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Contact me. I want to help you along your journey of becoming an engaging online instructor. So 
let me help you out. All right. Thanks a lot. And until we talk again, have a fantastic day.